So, I have two options. Either I can go to Korra's Den and speak to Harkin to find out where Garrus hangs out, or I can go up to the Presidium and talk to the Volus to learn more about the Shadow Broker. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander? Hey. One of the mods I'm running is the LE1 Diversification Project, which, among a few tweaks, throws around a bunch more aliens to make places like the Citadel look a bit more lively. They look a little too obviously dropped in at times, but some are walking around, and some even come with new dialogue. It also introduces female Turians, which were otherwise not seen until Mass Effect 3, I think. Of course, none of that's of interest to Tammy. I can't believe the Council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Oh, Ashley. That guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the Keeper. Eh, it's none of our business. Ignore him, kids. We've got stuff to do. So, choices. Tammy does not want to go talk to a Volus, so instead we're going to go into the wards and find Harkin. I don't really see why we have to specifically seek out a suspended member of C-Sec to find out where Garrus is. Couldn't we just ask one of the probably hundreds of not suspended C-Sec members? They probably know better. Besides, is it a particular secret where he's hanging out? This would make a lot more sense if Garrus was either a private investigator, or he'd already left CSEC at this point. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the Universe Bank's hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Yeah. Alright, um... On to Cora's den. That's her. Uh oh. Assassins. This will help. Those were Saren's men. By the I way, remember when track. Saren was grumbling and grimacing about how this human must be eliminated? I'm pretty sure these two Turian assassins represent the entire scope of his attempts to eliminate Shepard. Like, he sent these two guys and was like, Whoa, this kid is inhuman. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. The service in here is terrible. Hi, be with you in a minute. Uh. There's Harkin. So what's going on over here? Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no clue with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Yeah. It's none of our business. Um, Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body. Oh yours. man, she's getting the crazy eyes. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. <laughs> See where this goes. Uh, no. I'll pass. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more Marines look like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of Seasick. All right, let's talk. Um... Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian Seasick officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Captain let you in on his big secret? I don't care. I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? Uh. It's all very hush-hush. 
The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. He did. Um. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Okay, well. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. This is still dumb. If you go to CSEC, there are dozens of humans there to ask about Garrus who aren't drunk and suspended. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. I bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the Captain has to say about all this. Yeah. Now that we've been to the tower, we can freely explore the wards if we want. Ah, nice view. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? Well. How can they keep tabs on all of this? Presidium may as well be on another planet. There is definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Science? No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of F and G's looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's got to be a balancing act, like every other government. Hmm. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Damn, Ashley. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. I can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Hmm. Just gonna get that image out of my head. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Oh. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigator. Oh, journalist hey, they changed their outfit. Out. Could I have a moment of your time? I think this is a part of the LE1 Diversification Project mod. Oh, I really like that. I was never a big fan of the, uh, the dress with all the holes in it that uh, she had. I've been hunting I for like evidence of corruption better. and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. All right. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Okay. See ya. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Oh, this Look, poor guy. I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now are you going to give me a refund or not? We have your proof of purchase. What? No, no. I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. Is that really? Oh. Wow. It's you. Hey, man. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. Oh, they I love say this pose you killed more than a hundred yeah. death on Eden Prime. Really? They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. I was trying to be modest, but I, I guess Tammy decided busy, otherwise. But, um, do you have time for a quick autograph? I guess. Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Nice guy. I, I think. I don't think there's anything for me at Flux, but... 
as we'll have a quick look. It's out of my hands, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. I know, I know. I'll see if I can talk some sense into her next time I see her. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? Anything wrong? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. Say she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Yeah. Get to the point. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping. Oh, just on the tell paper. anyone, why don't you? If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Oh, that's not great. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. There's a guy it's standing all very right here. Secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. All right, I'll speak with her. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, good to see another human. Yeah. Not a bad place, but it's just not the same as back home. The drinks aren't bad, but good luck finding a beer here. But I don't dance anymore. So here's the med clinic. If I step foot in here, then Garrus joins my party no matter what. I've agonized on whether to bring Garrus or Rex along, because you can't leave both on the Citadel, even if you're a species like Tammy. Ultimately, I decided she'd go with Rex. Not because she likes him better, but because she just really hates Turians. Hey. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? That's Colton right. was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Yeah. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down Your here hair in the looks wards? Painted Anything on. I can help you with? Uh, not particularly. Oh, I could have asked him about Harkin. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been Couldn't on the I just have asked this me. guy about Garrus? Well, I've heard things, you know. Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Yeah, okay. What do you know about Spectres? Some of the other CSEC guys don't like him too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use him, right? Oh, you're one of those guys. Bye. I have to go. I have nothing else right. to say to you. You're probably real busy. Well... See you around, Commander. Well, I've chosen to go with Rex, which means I have to go talk to this stinky man. Okay. Oh. You got guards now. Interesting. And they're, uh, Mass Effect 2 mo uh, droids. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? Yes, that you is my backstory. Assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavan. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I was told to talk to you. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Yeah, you know his name. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Yeah. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. 
He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Just one guy? Where is he? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Okay. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. So this is the last chance moment to recruit only Garrus or Rex. Go to the Met Clinic and recruit Garrus, or go to CSEC and recruit Rex. Ah, there he is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Yeah, like me. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Right. Yes, human. All right, we need to talk. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barla Vaughn is a wise man. He's not a man. He may share a common goal, human. What? Spit it out. Or are you trying to build suspense? Damn. <laughs> I like you, Shepard. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den. A man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Yeah, I know. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarry did my hand just pass through my arm? She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What a cock. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The council will have to listen to us. Okay. Saren might already have her. Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. No, no, no. We no. can handle this on our own. Okay, well, now we have Rex. He can sit on the reserve bench. I'm gonna stay with my humans. Um, we should go back down to Kor's Den, I guess. Of course, the doors are shut. So Rex's plan was to just walk in the front like door of Kor's Den and kill Fist? I mean, mine's the same, but at least I'm going through with it. Look out! Holy shit. I'm on it. Enemy is everywhere! Oh, I love it. I think one of the mods I installed actually re restores the crazy enemy screaming. In the original Mass Effect 1, the enemy barks triggered way too much, and it was hilarious, so they fixed that for the Legendary Edition. Enemy is everywhere! I love it. I miss that so much. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! You know what? I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh... Well, uh, nah, screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Yeah. Bye. I can't believe that worked. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Eh, it's an answer. Oh dear. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! If you have Rex with you in this conversation, he always ends up killing me. And I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. Maybe. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Shoot. Shoot him. Put a round in his legs, see if he talks. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. I thought the Shadow Broker only worked through agents. 
Well, oh. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men with you. Your son of a bitch. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Mm. I kind of want to kill him, but I have a feeling that if I don't, uh, I might meet him in the, one of the sequels. So, what about you? Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. You know what? Fine. There's no time to waste. Come on. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. I have a feeling that's not true. Okay. Uh, quickly get the shit that is in here. Oh my god. Oh. Hey man. Whoop. Did you bring it? Whoa, whoa. Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Uh. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh, yeah. By the way, I installed a mod that uh, gives Tally a bit more of a face. I figured since I'm not going to be doing much with her in this particular playthrough, I could try it out. Oh, he's stuck behind the keeper. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Oh, that does not look good. Hey, uh, I don't care about you. Give me the evidence. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I'm Tammy Shepard, and I don't question it. I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here oh, in the open. Oh god, the eyes we need are to too go weird. Safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. He'll want to see this anyway. I kind of like the that she doesn't have a regular human face, which is what most Tali overhauls do. But the eyes are You're not way too bright. You're making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? What? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Just doing my job, sir. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I don't care about this. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Oh then wow, she actually has a, a talking animations. Core. I'm surprised I by that. Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Ah. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. If the eyes could be fixed, I think I'd like this. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Yeah, voice sample. There's, uh, there's no technology that can fake that. Uh. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Like, don't you have some biometric data or something that actually proves Eden something? Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. That's Marina Sirtis. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. It's Counselor Troy. I feel like I've heard that name before. Have I? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. 
At least, that's what the Geth believe. I never Sounds noticed that Tali doesn't fetched. have her normal accent during any of these scenes. No. The vision on Eden Prime. It's true. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Yeah, there's almost no accent at the all. Council Weird. is just going to love this. Uh, who gives a shit? They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. That's right. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. No, Bubble Girl. We'd have to lock up all the help. silverware. She's already survived a run-in with the Geth Shepherd, and we need all the help we can get. Take her with you. Fine, but I've and heard their bad I luck. Go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. I honestly feel a little bit sorry for the council. Like, humanity keeps coming to them with, like, some lint and pieces of string that they found lying around saying, Look! Ironclad evidence. Um, I'm not sure about all these random people now hanging out in uh, Ambassador Udina's office. I mean, sure, he'd have a staff, but... Uh, wasn't this the kind of thing that we need to be alone for? Excuse oh. me, Commander Shepard. Ah. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm happy to help a fellow human. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. So you got her Chief killed. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Hmm. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Well, I'll get to the bottom of There's this. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. You thank you for your want time. me to speak to her manager? I just Ooh. want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Mr. Bati is voiced by an actor called Brian George, who is in tons of movies, TV shows, cartoons, and video games, often as Daisy characters. He was on Seinfeld as Babu and played Dr. Bashir's father on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Mr. Bosker? My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. That's right. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yeah, let's talk. Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Ah. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. Oh. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Oh, that sounds great. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You make a really good point. I'll tell Mr. Bhatia about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It turns out her body is full of interesting holes. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It is unacceptable. I'll get right back I'll to you, you on that one. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? 
I'd like you to reconsider releasing Nerali Batya's body. I'm sorry, Commander. The needs of the living outweigh the needs of the dead. Studying Nerali Batya's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. You're right. Thanks for your help. I'll tell him. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Uh, I'll be Not right yet. back. I'll be back when I have more to tell you. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? No. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. All right, Pee-wee. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Wait, you were just walking towards the bar. You're going to get a drink. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Yeah, man. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. I finally saw Your through his clever mind home. tricks. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. I it think not, bring not releasing the body gets you a tiny little peace. bonus in Mass Effect 3. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nerali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams. But thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Oh. All right. I feel good about that one. I'll meet you guys at the tower.